What up, y'all? This is your boy Ace here. Welcome to After News Delight. So, um, I'm going to do one big video today about the storyline, uh, Queen of Carter, which I think has been gotten very, very interesting. Uh, it's the second biggest storyline going on the show right now behind the Sheila stuff. Uh, I think it's a lot more interesting right now than it was like just two weeks ago. I think that there's a lot of things going on. There's a lot more people involved, a lot more layers. Um, and it's making you appreciate Quinn and Carter even more because it's such a struggle for them to get together, man. So I think that's another reason why I'm liking it right now, too. I know a lot of people just want them to be together. They don't want to go through all this bull. They want to, they want to fast forward. Uh, but I think, like I said, it gives you more of an appreciation for Quinn and Carter, the fact that they got to go through all these hoops, man, just to be with each other. But before we get into all that, I'm doing one big video, so I'm going to cover as much as possible in one. But first, definitely need y'all to hit that like button as I come on in here. Hit that like button for me, y'all. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Any comments I got, definitely put them below. Um, and if you want to um, donate to the channel, hit the thanks button below as well. Let's get into this, y'all. So, Quinn and so there was like maybe four or five scenes today. Uh, I'm going to try my best to remember all of the scenes. Now, I know Eric was talking to Quinn about the relationship. That's not that important. Um... The next scene that I really wanted to talk about was when Carter and Rich got into a heated discussion about, you know, uh, him still loving Quinn and, and marrying Paris. Like, Rich doesn't really support Carter marrying Paris. Obviously, he knows something is going on and he figured it out that Carter still loves Quinn. So, Carter just started showing like this mad frustration in Rich's office yelling and stuff like it's just like you know i still love uh quinn but i have to do this. you know you know with carter he be you know carter was in there snapping today the boy but it seems like ridge more than ever especially after carter just told him he's gonna try to get married the next day he's even more worried about carter and what's going on and i think for the first time really like for ridge um like, he understands why Carter shouldn't be with Quinn right now because of Eric's marriage. But we all we always know, though, that Ridge never really supported Quinn and Eric together. Uh, he only tolerated it. But also, the only reason why he was a little pissed at Carter last year was because of the way he hurt his father. Thought he betrayed his father. But it really wasn't about him being with Quinn specifically. Obviously, you know, obviously being married too, that was something that he thought wasn't something that Carter usually does. So he knows Carter has just, he's been suffering. So um, he's trying to figure it all out for his friend. But, you know, the only thing that Eric can do, man, is just figure out what's going on with his father, man. Uh, I think that's the only thing that he can really do to solve this problem. So then uh, we also had Paris, uh, Going back and forth with Grace. I, I'm even more on Grace's side with this whole thing. Because even though the way she's going about it is wrong. I think Grace is really, really trying to make sure that her daughter doesn't get hurt by Carter. She literally knows that this dude is using her. Um, You know, but I think at the same time, she does need to let her daughter figure it out on her own. I think that's the biggest mistake that Grace is making is that she needs to let her figure it out. But at the same time, she knows her daughter is going to be hurt. So then that's when Hope came in. Hope came in the room and she was talking to Paris and Hope knows about Erica Don. So she has to tread lightly as far as the information that she gives. Um, but she was really asking Paris, like, do you love Carter and all that other stuff? Are you happy? And it seems like on her side, because Paris doesn't know she's being used, even though she, at the same time, she was blackmailing Carter. That's the whole reason why Carter is trying to, you know, marry her is so that he could shut her up while Quinn and Carter, I mean, Quinn and uh, Eric are still married. But, uh, you know, Hope is trying to fill out the room, you know, being a nosy Logan that she is, she's trying to fill out the room, uh, seeing what, you know, Paris knows and all that other stuff. Uh, and a lot of this, like I said, could have been avoided if Hope just would have went to Quinn about the truth. Uh, but 
it is what it is. Now, also, Grace went to Zende later on while he was working out. Um, and, and Grace was begging for Zende to uh, interrupt the, uh, the wedding or whatever and stop that marriage from happening. But Zende's already given them their blessing. Zende's still a good friend of Carter. And he doesn't want to uh, see Paris hurt. And he probably doesn't want to get Paris back, you know, having a beg for her. So I feel Zende on that. He ain't trying to interfere like that. This is why I keep saying the wrong person that Grace is going. She's going to the wrong people. The people that the person that you need to go to is Quinn. I've been saying this. You need to go to Quinn because that's the one person in town that doesn't want to see Paris and Carter together. You need to go to her at some point before this wedding and plan things out. Just talk with her. Like, you've been going to everybody else except Quinn. Like, and I wonder if the show is even going to have on talk before the wedding. Like, that's the whole thing. It's just the wedding is supposed to be the next day. You know, it's crazy. So then the last scene, the cliffhanger, uh, Quinn, uh, Carter, I guess, is making some preparations for the wedding. He was on the phone. Then that's when Quinn was in the doorway. She hears about the wedding. And she's surprised and stuff like that. And that's when she finally tells Carter she loves him too. Um, and that moment, if you're a Quentin Carter fan like I am, it made you want to cry. Because at the same time, you know that these two cannot be together right now. And they're both suffering. Like Carter's even suffering even worse, it seems. Um and I guess that's because Quinn is still married to Eric, so she feels like she still got something there. Because if she was not with Eric, she'd be feeling just like Carter right now. Even like more like a sick dog. Um, but little does she know, Eric and Bichit and Donna, and that secret will get exposed later this summer. Now, what's going to be interesting going forward, whenever this wedding happens, is will anybody interrupt? I don't want to just say somebody's going to interrupt because I don't know who's going to interrupt. And I don't want spoilers. Don't. If you know who's going to do it, don't put it in the comment section. Please don't do that. I don't want to know. I want to find out when I watch it live who's there. So don't even put it in the comment section if you know. Um, and the spoiler's probably wrong anyways because I've been hearing a lot of spoilers and they've been way off track. Um, way off track. Um. But yeah, man, uh, this this situation is getting real sticky. And like I said, I want to see what happens in these last few moments before the wedding. Um, I want to see if Grace gets desperate enough, if she gets too queen before the wedding. Um, I want to see if anybody else is going to stop it, have any objections to it. I'm pretty sure this is the wedding where there's going to be an objection. I'll be surprised if there's not. And if there's not, it's because... The only person who probably can stop it is the people with the information about Eric and, and Donna. I don't expect Zende to do it. I don't expect Zende to do it. He probably is coming to the wedding. I don't expect him to do it. I actually don't even really expect Grace to do it. I got I got a feeling Eric and Carter, I mean, Eric, I mean, I mean Quinn and, uh, I mean, huh, Carter and Paris are probably going to get married successfully without anybody objecting. But if anybody does, I wonder who is going to be Maybe Quinn does it. That'd be a total shocker. And I don't want her to do it because I want Eric to get caught with Donna. The reason why I need it to happen that way is because I want this divorce to happen. So I need Eric getting caught with Donna, man. Because that's the only way this divorce happens, man. So I need it to happen that way. You know what I'm saying? So y'all let me know in the comment section if y'all agree with me. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. Um... Because I think it does need to happen that particular way in order for this to finally end. So, y'all let me know in the comment section what y'all thought about that. Uh, give this video a like, share, subscribe, y'all. Um, if you want to donate to the channel, hit the thanks button below. I will see y'all on Monday. But before then, good luck to Kimberlyn Brown. I hope she wins it. Y'all know she's Sheila Carter. I hope she wins that Emmy tonight. Uh, daytime Emmys are supposed to be tonight. Maybe I'll do a video on it. I don't know. Maybe I'll do a video on it if she wins. I may do a video on it if I, if she wins. We'll see. Uh, I'll see what happens. Because I, I don't know if I'm going to be ha able to have time to watch it tonight. But I'll probably have to DVR it or something. 
Uh, I used to watch the daytime Emmys all the time. I started watching it. I think around the time it stopped coming on TV a few years, like a few years ago, and I really haven't watched it ever since. And you have to. I think I did watch it like a couple of years ago during the pandemic. I think I watched it a couple of years ago. Uh, the, it, it, and it was weird because it wasn't like um, it was like the Zoom thing, and I, and I was like, "Oh my god, this is so annoying!" This Zoom stuff. So this is the really the first one where everybody's together live. I already saw the B and B producer. He did. He's doing a live stream on the red carpet. So uh, everyone's together again. That's probably like the biggest party that the soul community has had since the pandemic. So it's gonna be an interesting night to see what happens there. If y'all want to talk about that as well, y'all can talk about that as well. Uh, I don't mind. Like I said, I might do a video if she wins, man. Uh, we'll see. But. I love y'all, man. Um, I'll see y'all on Monday. Enjoy y'all weekend, y'all. Thank you for watching. After News Delight.